The Congregational Prayers The first act mentioned in the main hadith under discussion, which erases minor sins namely, taking many steps towards the mosques to offer the congregational prayers has been discussed in many hadiths. For example, a hadith found in Sahih Bukhari, number 2119, advises that the one who performs ablution at home and sets out for the mosque to perform the congregational prayer will have a sin forgiven or their rank raised by one degree for every step they take. The angels will keep praying for their forgiveness as long as they remain inside the mosque without breaking their ablution and refrain from causing trouble for others. Finally, they will be recorded as one who is offering prayer as long as they are waiting for the congregational prayer to begin. This same hadith advises that the congregational prayer is 25 times greater in reward than performing it at home or at work. In a hadith found in Sahih Bukhari, number 2891, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised that every step one takes towards offering the prayer in congregation at a mosque is recorded as charity. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, gave glad tidings of a complete light on the day of resurrection for those who walk to the mosques for the congregational prayers in the dark. This refers to the morning and late evening obligatory prayers. This is confirmed in a hadith found in Sunan Ibn Majah, number 780. Praying in congregation is so important that the companions, may Allah be pleased with them all, regarded the one who did not attend it regularly, without a good reason, a hypocrite. This is confirmed in a hadith found in Sunan and Nasai, number 850. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website, www.shakepod.com.